So I've been rehearsing uh, the stick a little bit tonight. Well, a little bit, a few hours. Um, I thought I'd record another video just to, uh, to tell you about what I discovered today. Um, I will not be able to do so probably for another few days, but I thought there were some interesting uh, realizations that I had today, this evening. Um, so I watched a few vi videos online from Greg Howard, um, who's got great tips. Uh, one of the tips that he has is that when you play with a stick, you should not just play with the finger, but play with your whole hand. Which gives for a more fluid playing style. I, I, I feel the difference in sustain and quality of the tone. Um, also, I found that when you play closer to the fret marker, the sound is better. Um, which makes sense, but you know, it's the same as in the guitar. Um, so what did I work on? Um, I basically worked on discovering this this huge surface. Um, I, I have trouble calling it a neck because it's um, you know, it's an airplane carrier. I, th I think that's how uh, Emmett Chapman talks about the railboard in his uh, promo video. It is sort of like a, an airplane carrier. Um, so I've, I've been working on the chord shapes, major and minor triads, the bass lines. So. And then I went over the neck, so I, I started with a, a little beat here, just a uh, bass drum. And then. the way down here and then I start back here and I take the next string so this is minor uh, semitone down major minor all the way down and then the last string So these, these very thick bass strings, they do rattle a bit. And sometimes I get them to rattle less. It's, a, it's still a way of positioning the fingers, I think. So that's one thing that I worked on. Um, I did this, I don't know how many, dozens of times. Um, the next one are finger independence uh, exercises. So Greg also has an, an exercise uh, on, on his site um, this YouTube YouTube video where you play the bass with your left hand, and then you play um, a little melody on top of it. So he, I think he plays another one, but I'd like this one. So basically, this is a scale of E, e major, just the same as in a guitar neck, and so. The idea is to alternate the fingers here by playing them with your arm, the whole arm, not just, but then switch to the bass, it's a fourth lower. And on top of that I will do Then, you know, with a click, obviously. So 
So I, I didn't talk about that. I have this, instead of having one melody, I did then. So that it alternates uh, on top of the bass notes and that your hands get dissociated a little bit. Um, sometimes I get it, sometimes not. of it so that's it for today um, my plans for the next days is to elaborate on this um, so currently I'm alternating between uh, two fingers my index finger and my middle finger so if I just play the bass I, I'm able to alternate between all four but I want to do this with uh, while playing the melody on top of it and going back and forth so not just um, index middle ring pinky index middle but index middle ring pinky ring middle index and wherever uh, the fourth one uh, hits I will jump to the next uh, the next string and this is going to to, to offset uh, so now I'm at the pinky so this is four so the next one is gonna be the uh, ring finger I'm back to the index. So this sort of shifts around uh, the pattern of your fingers in the left hand and on top of that I, I will try to you know, exercise myself to play the same melody with the right hand on top of it. Um, also po possibly shifting it forward and backwards uh, based on what uh, Greg Howard explains in this video. Um, and then, you know, continuing to work on my uh, chord shapes and trying to do that with my right hand also. So, there it is. That was it for today. And, you know, I'll check back in whenever I think there's something worthwhile to talk about. Bye.